Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the second annual 2022 APP Tour Delray Beach Pickleball Open presented by Head. This year's tournament hosted by JJ, Julie Johnson, and Mircha Merariu. APP Tour CEO Ken Herman and Foster Events Group bringing it to you. Hello, everybody. Championship court number two, Ari Shanock, along with John Davison, former pro pickleball player, race car driver. This guy does it all. John, glad you're here. Beautiful day. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here, Ari. Thank you. We've got gender dubs today. The men here on CC2, our producer, Spencer Laurent. CC2 production brought to you by Pickleball TV. And a good one here to start us off this morning. That just a little deep off of the paddle from Eastwood. We've got Chris Eastwood along with his partner, Tim Mullane, against Jim Dobrin and Zach McDivitt. Game one and a tight one side out for Dobrin and McDivitt. Yeah, tight one, eight, nine, one. You know, we had a little bit of controversy right before we went live on a tight line call. But it's been pretty uh, evenly contested so far, this match. Yep, and that was settled. Good sportsmanship on both sides. Look at the exchange here and the point put away by McDivitt. All set up by Jim Dobrin, just applying a lot of pressure. And, and getting one to, to lay up for uh, McDivitt to put it away. That bank's right off of the tape of the net, and they will take it. Dobrin serving for game one. Tried to drive that one in, didn't clear it, John. Yeah, you know, he went for the win there, and... Uh, Came up a little short. Mullane serving. And they get it to the second serve. Will be Eastwood, the southpaw. Oh, and an unforced error there by McDivitt. He just reached in the kitchen a little too far, and uh, now we have a tied ball game here. Eastwood, 10 all, second serve. Deep, heavy serve, good return. Backhand swinging volley for Chris Eastwood. Puts them up one here and gives them a game one point. Game point, McDivitt and Dobrin had one, did not convert. Oh. And watch it, you get it upstairs to the left-hander who's covering the middle of the court there, John. Yeah, and he finds the easy put away. So game one. Highly contested goes to Chris Eastwood and Tim Mullane. Oh, John. Welcome back, everybody. 2022 APP Tour Delray Pickleball Open here at the beautiful Delray Beach Tennis Center, home to the Delray Beach Tennis Open, which occurs every February. Just a gorgeous venue, beautiful weather, John. A little slight breeze, can get breezy this time of year. 
here in this area, so close to the ocean, but perfect conditions, really. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful weather today. Yeah, you know, you do have a little bit of breeze. It's kind of swirling in the in, in the bowl here, but it'll be interesting to see how the uh, players adapt to that as well. But um, I can't complain about the weather today. May get a little sticky later in the day yeah. with these guys, but highly contested game one goes to Eastwood and Mullane. 12-10. So that drops a bit wide. Now you're looking at Mullane and Eastwood. They've both got good length. It's going to be tough to get the ball over their head. For sure. And, you know, uh, it's hard to dink with them, too, because they have such a good reach into the kitchen and they're able to uh, start a lot of attacks and apply a lot of pressure. Tried to split the two defenders, but sailing long on Dobrin. I liked the idea. He just put a little too much on it. Eastwood's got that kick on that lefty serve, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. I would look for East. You, you know, you will have to pay attention to Eastwood. He likes to pull out some sick tricks, and uh, <laughs> we saw one before we went live, a nice tweener reset. So Yeah, that was a beauty. Yep, look for some excitement from him. Upstairs, and good hops there from McDivitt. Yeah, Mullane did not lift that uh, lob up high enough for sure. McDivitt ate that one all up. Quick bounce for there from Zach. Good reach as Dobrin earns the point. Was getting ready for that Ernie opportunity. Yeah, he was. He was able to hit a nice penetrating dink, pulling Eastwood off the line. Able to find some room to uh, attack him right at the body. There's that reach you're talking about, the length. No tweener oh. that time, but he <laughs> put it between the, the defense. I was expecting to see a tweener there, but... Uh, I think McDivitt and Dobrim would agree. Yeah. <laughs> Caught him by surprise. That was the old, uh, I got it, you got it, uh, you take it, right? Or <laughs> <laughs> We've seen that, we saw that a couple times in game one. McDivitt, you know, hitting a couple uh, dinks into the net. So if they want to come out on top of this one, he needs to you know, really find his groove and start becoming more consistent in those dinks. Nice dink approach there. Eastwood, quick hands. Great defense. So that's swinging two-hander by the lefty. Eastwood, too much to handle. Mullane serving. Uh, nice little slice on that backhand return, wasn't it, John? Yeah, it sure was. Uh, Mullane didn't really get low enough to get underneath the ball because it had such a good slice on it. Wasn't able to lift it up. Staying back and now moving forward. Speed up. McDivitt takes control. Good quality here, John. These doubles teams, whoever advances, will face the third seed, Thomas Wilson and A.J. Kohler. So they will have their hands full, but hoping for that opportunity. Yeah, you know, you can't look past either team right now. Um, that's a problem with knowing who you're going to play ahead of time if you win, right? You know, you can look past who you're playing, and, uh, it, you know, it might not go your way. That's why sometimes... People feel like it's better not to even look at the draw. Just go out and play them. I've had to do that myself in the, in the past. Everyone here in this, in this bracket is 
a very good player. So you can't look past anybody, especially with the growth of pickleball right now. Everybody's just getting better and better every single tournament. Nice one-two punch by Eastwood. Earns another point for Eastwood Mullane. We talk about the growth of this sport, fastest growing sport in the nation. And this area loves this game. These pickleball courts in the back of the Delray Tennis Center are packed every night. ATP for Jim Dobrin. Yeah, great pa great patience by Dobrin, uh, allowing that ball to come a little more wide so we can get a better angle. Malay. Little drop volley there. That one got up for Eastwood. Chris, he, he makes it look easy. Very fluid player, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, you know, very nice, beautiful strokes. Um, he really does make the game look easy. Very graceful. Yes. We're just a little short, so a side out, quick side out for the eastwood Mullane combo. Came up a little too quick on that spin. Yeah, it looks like Dobrin and McDivitt are starting to return to Mullane because there's been a, a couple errors on the third shot. So we'll see if they continue to do that. You know, if, if you have one person missing a couple thirds, keep going back to him until he gets it. Redirect and right at him. Good quick hands from Dobrin. Deep service. And that just missing deep. Yeah, he closed the gap there well in the middle, but uh, unfortunately just sailed it a little long. On two here, McDivitt. Great drive and a follow-up swinging volley on the approach right at the line. Impressive from Dobrin. Good patient play. Looking to find the right opportunity. There and it is. There it is. You called it. That's the patience. You wait for your ball. Well, especially when you're a tall player like Eastwood, um, you're just waiting for that dink to sit a little high to where you can go in and just speed up at the body of the guy in front of you. Good pick up there by Mullane because he, he, McDivitt's sliced return is a nasty one. Yes, it is. It doesn't come up off the court at all, does it? No, it really doesn't. And that catches line, I believe. Nice swipe there with a backhand volley by Zach. Did you get a score there, John? I believe it's 4 2 2. We're having a little difficulty hearing the official. We apologize. Yep, 5-2-2 two, two on Eastwood's paddle. Eastwood. Questioning himself there. It went for the big inside out forehand. That is deep. Yeah, there was a good attack by Dobrin. Uh, caught Mullane off guard a little bit. Ball on court, championship court number two here on APP TV, on YouTube and Facebook. 
Lions Pro Dubs. Come on, Zach. McDivitt says to himself, upset with the error. Yeah, you know, he's had a couple of those so far this game, so uh, it's definitely in his head. If I'm if I'm Mullane, I want to stay in that cross-court dink with him. Now that ball gets upstairs to the lengthy Tim Mullane. Now you were talking about Tim's ability before this match. John, familiar with his background? Yeah, very high-level tennis player. Um, I've played him a couple times, and very solid, good hands, uh, good presence at the net. And that's a great setup dink there by Mullane. His partner takes over and finishes. Yeah, good little inside-out forehand there. A deep, heavy serve. Ernie. McDivitt and Dobrin uh, switching their stack up a little to uh, take some relief, I think, off the backhand of McDivitt as he takes a timeout. Uh, they appear to be a little out of rhythm here. Eastwood and Mullane have been solid. They're up one game to nothing up here in the second. Yeah, you know, it's coming down to uh, unforced errors um, on the side of Dobrin and McDivitt. You know, Mullane and Eastwood have just been very solid, patient, letting the opportunities present themselves and then eventually pulling the trigger or just making the point last longer. You know, um, McDivitt and Dobrin just need to settle back in and uh, inch away at this lead that Mullane and Eastwood have uh, starting to grow a little bit. Yeah, feeling more and more comfortable out there. Association of Pickleball Professionals, the APP Tour, this is the first USA Pickleball sanctioned tour providing the best pickleball experience for all. Glad you could be with us today. Some singles action yesterday. It'll be Anna Bright versus Georgia Johnson in the women's gold singles on Sunday. And brother JW Johnson will take on Frederico Starksrud for gold that action on Sunday. That's when that timeout pays off immediately, John. Yeah, you know, if you if you lose a couple few points in a row, three, four points in a row, it's always wise to take a timeout, just take a little reset, start all over again. Usually pays off. Will it pay off for two straight? It does, and the quick side out after the timeout. So not only to regroup your side, John, but also Break a little momentum on the other side, correct? Yeah, of course. You know, make the other team overthink what they're doing instead of just being in the groove that they're in, right? They want to take advantage here. The side of Dobrin McDivitt, and now on a second serve. Score David and Mullane going at it. Cross court. There's the switch. That doesn't pay as Eastwood. Got to be careful. That southpaw Johnny's got the forehand right, right up the middle, right? Yep. When you got the lefty righty, both forehands in the middle, it's not always the best decision to throw at middle, is it? <laughs> And the backhand, good little top spin right at the feet of Eastwood. Well executed by McDivitt. Seven, two, two. Speeds it up. Dobrin started it. McDivitt finish. They really need to make up some ground here, Ari. But unfortunately, they'll have to wait uh, on another serve. So the wind coming from the southeast, so a little bit behind the team of McDivitt and Dobrin at the moment. A 
Nice drive. Picked up, though. That did not fool Mullane at all. No, he was ready for that one. Mullane and uh, Eastwood seem pretty comfortable here in game two. Right off the line. Deep <laughs> service for an ace. Big serve. Not what uh, Dobrin needed here. 8-3-1. Time Mullane goes off speed. Set up so nicely. Yes, it was. I liked what McDivitt changed up there. You know, a few points before, he was just kind of dinking in the same spot over and over again as Mullane found a rhythm on him. And then there we saw on that point, he dinked a few to Eastwood in front, created himself an opportunity, and unfortunately didn't work out for him. But I like him mixing where he's putting that dink more often. And well done there, too. Redirected by McDivitt. Three, two, they need a side out here. And a good drive, follow up volley by Mullane, and we have a match point on the paddle of Chris Eastwood. Right down the line. Very nice hands there by McDivitt. They are alive here, and they need a run right now, John. They really do. You know, you got to string a couple. You know, they've just had a hard time executing when they have the ball, right? So when you're not scoring on your side outs, the other team inching away at the lead. Or sorry, you know, building the lead one by one every, every side out. They quickly put it on the paddle of McDivitt with a second serve. Feel like they've got to have a few here on this service turn. They're down big here in the second. Not going to get it. Quick side out. Second match point opportunity for Mullane and Eastwood. Nice drop, Bolly. Yep. Would anticipate they go with the lob, and oh. it works somehow. <laughs> Just changed it, that pace up a little bit, John, and yep. they get the match point they were looking for. So McDivitt and Dobrin take this match two games to love, or drop that match two games to love. Mullane and Eastwood moving on as they will now face Wilson and Kohler. And we'll be back here on Championship Court number two.
There's a gentler side of Florida, just waiting for you to discover it. Where America's first resort destination was built and genuine hospitality began. A place with cleaner sands, warmer waters, and fewer crowds. A place different than the rest. One that exceeds, excels, and surpasses all expectation. Waiting here just for you. We are the original, the one, the only, the Palm Beaches. So ready for next gen. This is next gen pickleball. I'm so ready for the next gen tour. Super excited about next gen. I can't wait for the APP next gen tour. I'm super excited for next gen. The PT Pro Team at pickleballtournaments.com have unparalleled experience running tournaments, including all professional tours and premier events. We provide professional services to develop, plan, and deliver tournaments that players and fans love. PickleballTournaments.com, powering pickleball tournaments worldwide. At Coulter Homes, the rules are simple. Grab your paddle and always dink in the kitchen. Dink in the kitchen. Remember where you are. Pickle Coulter Homes is the home of pickling. Smash and poach on dedicated courts in resort style and active adult new home communities across the southeast, including PGA Village Verano and Port St. Lucie, home of the World Pickleball Open. Pickle Learn more at CoulterPickleball.com. You ready, La? I'm ready, Ben. Let's do this. is the answer. A Ben Johns custom paddle by Franklin? For me? Yeah, let's crush it. Good game. Good game. Thanks to Ben Johns. Way to go, Lala.
There's a gentler side of Florida, just waiting for you to discover it. Where America's first resort destination was built and genuine hospitality began. A place with cleaner sands, warmer waters, and fewer crowds. A place different than the rest. One that exceeds, excels, and surpasses all expectation. Waiting here just for you. We are the original, the one, the only, the Palm Beaches. The HD5 is the green of Ivy. It represents hope, tenacity, the spirit of life and growth. It also reminds us of the Ivy League. The HD5 features a good rotation, an excellent sweet spot, thicker core, and super power. If you like to dink, then Pickleball Magazine has what you're looking for. Our bi-monthly print publication will help you become a better player with instructional tips, drills, and articles from the top teaching pros in the sport. And you'll become a healthier, stronger player with psychological, nutritional, and wellness advice from experts in their fields. Finally, if it's... Welcome back. Championship court number two. We've got a good one. We have the tremendous team of Johnson and Frazier as they take on Eric Gilbert and Jay Campbell. Yeah, it's a tall order for Gilbert and Campbell here, but uh, two solid pickleball players. Gonna try to upset this uh, number two seed. J.W. Johnson has the most wins in men's doubles on the APP Tour with 71 wins. And his partner, Dylan Frazier, number five on the list with 51. Wow, 71 wins. That sounds like a lifetime of wins. <laughs> <laughs> For most pickleball players, that would be true. Campbell challenging the great J-Dub. This team of Jay Campbell and Eric Gilbert victorious in their opener, 11-7, 11-8. As they uh, defeated Andrews and Orr. Good start, 2 0 2. Can hear Derek Prince, our official in this one. Side out, down to Frazier and Johnson. It'll be Dylan serving first. Gilbert takes it to him. Well, good start here for Campbell and Gilbert. 
Is it advantageous to already have played here one match? Oh, 100%. You know, uh, J.W. Johnson, Dylan Frazier coming off a bye sometimes. It can be uh, tough to get in the groove early against a team that's already played a match. So if I'm Campbell and Gilbert, I'm trying to take advantage of that. That gets up to the backhand volley of Frazier and the first point on the scoreboard for this second seed, Johnson and Frazier. They get the side out. Any intimidation factor when you're facing these guys? Oh, for sure. I mean, J.W. Johnson and Dylan Frazier are just a wall, and it comes back just as hard, if not harder. So you really have to be confident in your, in your ability, but uh, be on your toes and uh, get ready for the next ball to come back. It was a little wide, so a 3-1. Well, you figure they needed a good start, and they have accomplished that. Yeah, they'll have to keep it going and try to take advantage of uh, Frazier and J-Dubs uh, coming off that bye. See if they can uh, take game one here. Good look there on the Ernie attempt from Eric Gilbert. Everything but the finish. Side out, 1-3. If you're looking at this Johnson Frazier team coming in at it as, as their opponent, one, three, one. what are you trying to take advantage of? Are there any areas that you could take advantage of? Well, there's not many, I tell you <laughs> that. You know, you have to be willing to grind, but also uh, try to create a little more of a mess. You know, J don't let them get into a rhythm, um, especially J.W. Johnson. Move that dink around a lot. Try to, try to make it messy for them. Um, and be able to, to apply some pressure right back to them. Upstairs, JW, or take your pick. They both had a paddle on it. JW, an accomplished tennis player playing the juniors, highly ranked in the country. For that ultimate switch to pickleball, I think it's you have to say he's made the right move. <laughs> he's doing well so far, and he's still got a lot of uh, years to go. And Frazier as well. I mean, Frazier's 20 years old. Young guy himself making a splash in the pickleball scene. Very similar style on the volleys with these two players. How do you uh, break down their, their form? Well, JW especially has a very solid base. He's very well balanced, and Frazier can be as well. But um, JW is just always really loaded down on his legs, and um, it, makes it, it makes his volleys always so precise when he is just so well balanced and low. Um, so you really have to be able to change the pace of the ball, change where you're putting the ball, because once they get in that groove, you know, it's it's tough. Yeah. And they can they reach in very well, their weight's forward. Deep service, four four two. Watch out. Gilbert almost played it back on the court, but JW, those strong hands. You know, John said that four, tremendous four, base. Beautiful lob. Gilbert, nice save. Gilbert winning the battle. Yeah, Frazier usually comes out on top when you speed it up to his backhand. He's got a really impressive backhand block. Uh, he puts it right down at your feet most times, so. Gilbert still, though, came up on the upper hand there. Yeah, that one drops on his side, did not flick over for Gilbert. Jay Campbell, terrific competitor, interesting story. 
Campbell on the charge. Yeah, you know, and uh, Jay Sean Campbell, definitely not scared of these guys, active military in the uh, Air Force. So I, 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 I don't think he's scared of a couple 20-year-olds. What do you think? No intimidation. We talked about intimidation <laughs> factor, not, not for Jay. And what a presence he is out there, too. Yeah, very big presence. He's a consistent player. He'll be looking for Gilbert to do what he's doing right there, starting a lot of the attacks, making it messy for Frazier and JW. Four six one. They had led it three to one to open it up. Good drive there by Campbell. What an exchange here. Oh. Ooh. What a point. That backhand volley you're speaking of. Excellent defense, but Frazier in the end on top. Yeah, Frazier holds that paddle so loose, he's able to really get that flick, yeah. right, and create a lot of power from the wrist. He gets such great extension there. Uh, yep. Really unique style Dylan has, and, and so efficient. Pretty smart timeout here as the game has started to go in the favor of JW and Dylan um, after having a little bit of a slow start. Yeah, they are completely warm now. It doesn't take long in these upper 80 temperatures. They had the bye in the first round, as we've discussed. As the two seed, Campbell and Gilbert winning their first 11 7 to 11 8. JW already has qualified for men's gold in singles. That will take place on Sunday. He's just good in every division, isn't he? What do you think his best is? Strongest singles, you say, John? I would say singles at the moment, even though he claims he doesn't practice it. Interesting. Well, that's where the tennis comes in, I guess, so with the movement and... Certainly, you're, you're not going to wear him out. Second serve. Frazier tries to go down the line, played it a little bit wide. So quick side out after the timeout. Yeah. Side out. Four, seven, one, and a game one that you really feel is critical to Campbell and Gilbert. Yeah, definitely. You know, you really have to take advantage of that first game against a team that has a bye. Um, and they did it first, up to a 3-1 lead, but now they're down 4-7, uh, or 5-7, sorry. But that timeout is really paying off right now. Four straight points after the yep. T.O. And within one. The wind behind him, it's gusting up a bit. Oh, Gilbert, quick hands, but that drifted wide, so second serve, down one. Six, seven, Well, J.W. able to turn that volley over. Frazier attempted the same maneuver, came up a little bit shy. Seven, seven, Great drive. Great drive. Campbell with some pace. Good mix up by Campbell. He's usually more of the uh, solid, consistent player. You know, uh, lets his partner do a lot of the, the heavy lifting but able to uh, speed up the ball right down the middle there. 
And you know Campbell has potential for big power. Wow. Great. Inside out, just well-placed volley, Gilbert. Yeah, he caught J.W. Johnson leaning to the right. Uh, J.W. looking to close the middle there, and uh, Gilbert caught him off guard. It's a two-point advantage for Gilbert and Campbell. Speed up, Gilbert was prepared. And look at what that timeout has produced. Yeah, you know, it really turns the tables, doesn't it? Ten, seven, two. I have game point. Game point right here. Speed up right into the body, well executed by J-Dub. Yeah, J-W does a really good job of reaching in the middle and uh, dropping the wrist and speeding right up into the body of the guy in front of him. They get the side out, remain alive here in game one. They had led seven to four. It is six straight points. There's that ability with the strength in the wrist. Yeah, and you know, it's important to mix the dinks up like Johnson did, as he was dinking a lot cross court and able to just put one in the middle, making uh, Jay Sean have to back off the line, give him more room to attack. 8-10-2. Wow. Right on the line. Sensational shot by Eric Gilbert. They have another opportunity here. Close out game one. Ten, eight, one. Second opportunity for game point. Great save by Campbell. And that one wide. Excellent action on two. 10-8-2, third attempt at game one. Ten, eight, two. Off speed, and oh. it worked. JW with, went with a little bit of a bigger swing. Sometimes that change of speed, John. Yep, and a good game one. So 11 to 8, Campbell.